Q&A? Yeah. Who's here? Where? Chris. Chris right here. Who's here?
good question. Who's next? Let's see somebody over here. Many arms. I love it. Many arms. Many. Five. You want to be next? Sure. All right. What's your name? Um, I'm Lee. I'm from Hi, Lee. Um, when you see the main character from the Nightmare Before Christmas, how closely did you work with Tim Burton? Um, as many of you may or may not know, Tim did not, Tim Burton did not direct The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Henry Selleck directed it. And uh, Henry was, it, it is, you know, he directed Coraline, he directed James and the Giant Peach, uh, a great stop motion animation director. Um, so I mostly worked with uh, Henry. Um, I met Tim in the very question. beginning before I started actually I going up to San that. Francisco and recording with Jack. And uh, I, are you guys interested in a little kind of what went on and how the. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I auditioned for The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's how I got the job. I wasn't called and said, you're going to do this. Um, and and uh, Danny Elman had already recorded the songs. So I had his voice as a kind of template for how the character should sound, because they were looking for somebody with a similar vocal Timber. quality to Danny. Um, and then I would fly up to San Francisco once every, say, three months or so, uh, where the movie was being shot. Uh, in a, It looked like a kind of big warehouse building. Um, and when you walked into the lobby, there were storyboards of the movie all around, uh, as well as things like ping pong bagels and punchy bags. <laughs> uh, because this process of stop action animation is exhaustingly fine. It's literally, the movie was shot, uh, I would go up and I would record a scene, or two or three, and three months later I would come back and the scene had been animated. Well, that's, they told me 11 seconds a week of actual film is, is produced in stop action animation from, the, from, the, the, from when the voice is recorded to when there's actually film on camera. Because it's literally, a, it's a frame at a time. Uh, Jack moves his hand, but you know, it's not Jack moving his hand like this, it's Jack moving his hand. And frame, 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 while they're changing Jack's heads because he's starting to smile. So they've got 15 different Jack heads with different degrees of smile on them, moving into a, a smile. There were 400 Jack heads. Um, exhausting, exhausting process. And uh, I would go up every three months, I'd record two or three scenes. The only time I ever worked with another actor was in the Jack and Sally scenes. Um, uh, Catherine O'Hara and I, uh, Catherine O'Hara and I worked together for a day, and that was it. The rest of the time, I was in the studio with Henry, just working on Jack, doing Jack scenes, Jack scenes. Henry, we would do each line 30 or 40 times, different ways, and then they choose the combinations of the way the lines went together, and then they animate the scenes. And then at the very end of the shooting, uh, I was. I, they sent me a print of the movie, uh, uh, not in color, in black and white, just on a thing with a time signature on the bottom. And, uh, and I uh, saw some stuff that I really wanted to do again, and I asked if I could, and in the meantime they had said that Tim Burton wanted to redo some stuff as well. So then at the end, Tim and I got together for two days in the studio, and we dubbed in a lot of Jack's lines, most of which were already in you know, finished from the, from the movie, but we did a, a, a number of things, and that's when I worked with Tim, and I worked with him for a couple of days. So that's the story. Bulls. Nice. Oh, good. I'll give it up for that. That was a good behind the scenes. Knowledge, everybody.